Hey, what's up, YouTube? Your boy, Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage. I'm taking this opportunity since I have the front wheel already removed from the Honda Goldwing. I will be changing from a black to a shiny chrome. Now, I've recently put black wheels on the Honda Goldwing, but I wanted to do something different and just try out chrome to see how it's going to look. I've recently exchanged the black on the trailer to a chrome so i really think that adding chrome wheels to the honda goldwing is really going to bring out the candy paint job so stay tuned to this video and i'm gonna get everything switched over from the black wheel to the shiny chrome so let's get started i will include a link in the description of this video or where you guys can pick up the air ratchet that i'm using in my video So now that I have the six bolts removed from the wheel, I can remove the disc brakes and I can remove the Centromatic wheel balancer. So flipping the wheel onto its right side, now I can repeat the exact same process. I just need to remove the six bolts that holds the disc brakes, but I have three additional bolts that holds the ABS pulsar rings. Once I remove all of these nine bolts, I can then remove the right Centromatic wheel balancer. And now that I have all of the bolts removed, now I can just lift up to remove the disc brake rotor and also remove the Centromatic wheel balancer. In this portion of the video, I will be dismounting the BT45 from the black wheel of the Honda Goldwing, but first I need to remove the inner valve stem core in order to dismount the BT45 from the black wheel. In this portion of the video, I will be mounting the new chrome wheel. I just need to reverse the exact same steps that I've taken on the black wheel for the chrome wheel. I will be adding some tire glide to the BT45 just to make the tire go back onto the wheel a little bit easier. So now that I have the tire all lubed up, now I can begin the process of mounting the BT45 onto the new chrome wheel. I will be adding the chrome T-valve to my chrome wheel for my FOBO tire pressure monitoring. This will allow me the convenience 
or putting air in the tire without removing the FOBO wheel sensor. Anytime that I'm mounting a tire to any chrome wheel, I always take my time to prevent any scratches or nicks to the chrome wheel finish. In this portion of the video, I placed the chrome wheel onto two 4x4 pieces of wood to prevent scratches on the chrome wheel. I'm using a bearing driver tool to press the bearings back down inside of the chrome wheels. I'm making sure that the bearings are going inside of the wheel straight and I'm taking my time pressing the bearings down inside of the wheel. Now that I have the bearings installed inside of the wheel, I can use the driver tool to press in the outer seal. I installed the left and right brake disc rotors with the arrow marks facing in the direction of the rotation with the new disc bolts. I then tighten the bolts down to 15 foot pounds of torque. I then reinstall the Centromatic wheel balancer and also the ABS pulsar ring. So stay tuned to my video and once I get the front forks installed, I can then install the new chrome wheel.